Hey everyone, we're here on the Waltham Commons uh, with our concerts on the Common that run every week during the summer. Uh, we're joined by Spectacle, a uh, local character and gorilla artist. How you doing, Spectacle? Groovy. Perfect. Uh, so, as an artist, I'm sure you create through many different mediums, but you're locally famous in Waltham for your colored discs that you leave in public places. Uh, can you tell us how you got started with that? Well, first off, the discs are 33 and a third records from between the 1960s to the 1980s. That's actually, they're pressed to this very day. We just don't see them because it's from days long ago. But they, they, they do still exist, and that's what I use for most of my discs that uh, I put up around town and sometimes in Watertown, and sometimes in Arlington, and Lexington, mm -hmm. and Belmont. So how did you get started with that? I had a cache of box records, and I didn't know what to do with them. And being a painter and an artist, I had a wealth of all sorts of different kinds of paints and mastics, from spray paints to acrylics, to oil paints, to pastels, and I just decided to start exercising my right to put them down wherever I want, and I put them down on records, and, and then I was left with a bunch of painted records, and I said, what better thing to do with them than to put them on telephone poles, strictly telephone poles, never on trees, ever, never, never on anywhere else but on telephone poles and I just started doing it and it caught on and some people loved it and some people hated it and here I stand today with my friend Chris and you said uh, just recently that you did you've done over 3,000 of these I painted more than 3,000 records uh, at least 1,700 of them have been taken down from telephone poles from people who enjoy them and dissenters and people who want to collect them and people who want to throw them in the garbage and people who want to smile at them and people who want to frown at them and people who want to take them into their house and hang them in their backyard and mm -hmm. I'm cool with anything that anybody wants to do with them as long as it incites as long as it excites mm -hmm. as long as it inspires and when they look on the back it's especially groovy I think when a kid looks on the back and, see, and sees the album the, the label Sergio Mendez and and seeing as there's no secrets anymore when it comes to anything on the phone you just ask the box mm -hmm. and they say hey who's Sergio Mendez and all of a sudden a seven-year-old an eight-year-old and 12-year-old is listening to Lonely Bull and a whole new generation is rediscovered and it's absolutely fabulous and I wouldn't have it any other way. That kind of goes into my next question. What has the response been from citizens and businesses? And uh, when was the first one you did in Waltham? The first ones that I did, I started around um, around Main Street and they were taken down by the city department. What year? Uh, about four years ago. Oh, four, that's it? Three thousand solid years. Yeah, 3,000 in four years, that's crazy. Year. Very, very stalwart, been working with my, my my nose to the grindstone at this project. And and they were taken down by the city workers. And I have got a knock at my door and a city worker was there with my records and they handed them back to me. He's like, you can't do this. And I was tickled pink. So I continued doing it. <laughs> and here we are today with all my friends and all the people who are going to show up here on the common and 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 uh so you kind of already answered this next question but you know i've had friends that have said like you know i love those uh records uh that just hang up and i want to like take one uh but i don't know if like the artist is okay with that can you tell us the official spectacle policy unofficial all the way it is it's freelance it's do with it what you will Sometimes when they do nights here on the common, I like to walk around with some records and just put them on the ground hmm. and let people pick them up and, and wonder and say, what's going on here? 
and take them and maybe throw them away. But I think that most people don't and maybe take them home and, and maybe not cherish them because that's a little bit too flamboyant, but appreciate them. Mm -hmm. and, and I give them to their grandchildren. I've had people say, can I have a special, I've had people auctions mm. uh, for the boys club. Uh, right now I'm hung in Waltham City Hall with a whole, I'm sorry, in, in, the, in the Waltham Public Library with a whole bunch of different forms of the records. And when it comes to taking them down, it is, it, it's a free for all. If I put them up, they're pretty much public knowledge, public information, public property, and nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, my time on the telephone poles is coming to a close because my need and desire for vinyls, my need and desire for vinyls is coming to a close. I can't get any more. Wow. And I don't know what to do. So maybe this might help drum up a little bit of uh, some, uh, uh, I don't know, some anything a, few, a couple boxes a moldy a moldy box of records in your grandparents basement i could dig anything that you anything that you could throw my way spectacle spectacle that's my handle um what do you have to say to folks uh the, that aren't your biggest fans that say you feeling entitled to put your art on public property is a slippery slope to confiscating private property for the public good without artists there are no critics. Without critics, there are no artists. Anything goes, as long as nobody's getting hurt. And maybe some, somebody might have their feelings bruised, or they might feel that it's me taking liberties, but nobody's getting hurt. And, and like I said, it makes the kids happy. They, they go on the lookout. I hear from different schools. I, I, I'm in the know with a bunch of different people in the hierarchy here on Waltham, which is a real big pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I get a lot of feedback and uh, it's, it's an absolute pr privilege. It's a privilege and an honor to do what I do. Unfortunately, like I said, my time is coming to a close and I have to uh, drum up some more vinyl business. Hear me now, help me people. I need vinyl. <laughs> Um, so, last question. Uh, Waltham isn't known for being an artist city, but we really do have a thriving community of artists within uh, the city, if you know where to look for them. What can we as a city do uh, on a municipal level, as well as a cultural level, to really uh, do a better job of um, putting a spotlight on art artistry? All you artists and wannabe artists, this is your platform right here on the common Tuesday nights Waltham concerts on the common we're uh, we're looking for artists we need artists I'm it, me and my and my mom and a couple other people with it we're like the only artists and I've tried to drum up people and interest but it doesn't seem that people you know people everybody wants to be world famous and, and in the Louvre but they don't want to put their head out there mm -hmm. so Put your head out there, people. That's what we need. We need, we need, we need, we need all this expanse filled. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, go, go to Global Thrift. Talk, talk to Cindy up on Moody Street. And, and I know she wouldn't mind me giving her name. I've got oodles of art hanging on the walls up there. Lots of records, lots of painted clothes. And never mind me, there's so much other art behind me and in, in, in front of me in hanging on the walls at, at, at Global Thrift. It's such an opportunity, everything is an opportunity mm -hmm. if you just go out and seize the day. Seize the day. You gotta do it. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't. And you know what, sometimes you're gonna get turned down flat and it's gonna hurt. But get back up, dust yourself off, start all over again. Well, that's a wonderful spectacle. I hope you enjoy your concerts on the Common.